the former head of Petro Vietnam was sentenced to 18 years in jail in Hanoi on Thursday for his role in a banking investment that caused huge losses at the state oil giant. Dinh Le Thang, former board chairman of Petro Vietnam and a once rising political star, was charged with deliberately violating state regulations on economic management causing serious consequences, which carries a sentence of between 10 to 20 years behind bars under Vietnam's penal code. Prosecutors last week called for him to be jailed for 18 to 19 years. Thang had independently plowed ahead with a 20% stake purchasing Ocean Bank in 2008 although he was aware of its poor capacity, the indictment said. The stake, worth 800 billion Vietnamese dongs $35 million, was completely written off when the central bank took it over in 2015. During the 10-day trial, he dismissed all the allegations. He said his investment in Ocean Bank had followed regulations. It had been discussed with other Petro-Vietnam executives and received approval from the prime minister, he said in court. At the time, the bank was making a profit, he said backed by other defendants. He also said that Petro Vietnam had found a customer for the stake and was ready to transfer it in March 2011. He said the resale had been approved by the government but the central bank had objected to it before it took over Ocean Bank for zero dong. But his entire argument was rejected. The verdict said Thang only reported the stake purchased to the government after the deal had been done in an effort to legitimize it. Ocean Bank's profit reports at the time were also false because the central bank found it was actually suffering losses. The court said, if Petro Vietnam had planned to divest, Ocean Bank would not have been able to afford to return the money. Even if Petro Vietnam had divested successfully, the damage would have fallen on another company, the court said. Thang was ordered to return 75% of the lost investment, and his six co-defendants, all former executives at Petro Vietnam, will have to pay the rest. They were sentenced to between 15 months house arrest and seven years in jail. Thang, 57, served as board chairman of Petro Vietnam between 2006 and 2011, before his career took off as Minister of Transport and Prime Minister Win Tan Dung's cabinet and then party leader of Ho Chi Minh City. The trial that wrapped up on Thursday was his second this year. He was sentenced to 13 years in jail in January for economic management violations which caused million-dollar losses at a construction subsidiary of Petro Vietnam. Under Vietnam's penal code, a person who receives multiple sentences can serve a maximum of 30 years in jail. Thang was arrested last December after being fired from his position in HCMC and voted out of the all-powerful Politburo, the party's decision-making body. In a move that international analysts have called unprecedented, his fall from grace is the biggest casualty of Vietnam's sweeping corruption crackdown spearheaded by Communist Party chief. Win Phu Trong over the past couple of years. Trong, 73, who took office in 2011, has described the campaign as being at an all-time high. The video is sponsored by CNTronic.com.